Hello, and welcome back to EV5280. We've been on a bit of a hiatus, but now we're back. And today we're going to take you along for our test drive in the 2024 Honda Prologue. As you're probably aware, the Prologue is Honda's first all electric offering. Expectations have been high, so let's get into it. Prologue's interface is built on Google, so I had some high hopes. At first, the screen and prompts are quick and responsive, but after a few minutes, the screen actually locked up and I had to pull over and restart it. So much for that pipe dream. Thank you to Shop Honda for lending this nicely loaded prologue to me. I think this vehicle is pretty handsome for a Honda. Nice body lines for a full size SUV. Although I'm not really thrilled about the boxy Honda logo on the rear end, but overall, pretty good looking. <music> As we get into the interior, the seats are plush and upscale. Nicely sized screens with great visibility. Very stylish and impressive for a Honda. Behind the lift gate, there's plenty of space. I wonder if this space wouldn't be better used for a third row bench seat. Maybe in the future, Honda will offer one. And then underneath the floor, as you would expect, unfortunately, no spare tire. So in closing, here are my overall impressions. I felt that the ride was a bit harsh for an EV. Some EVs really spoil you, the Prologue doesn't do that. I think the handling and response was good, but the acceleration and the Google interface were the biggest disappointments for me. Now the acceleration might be contributed to its size. This is one hefty SUV. Now I think the biggest hit was probably the max setting for the one pedal braking. It was outstanding. So overall, this Honda, while it's good, it's not fully baked. Well, Honda is new to this market, so we'll give them some grace and wait for the next version. Thanks for watching. We'll see you out on the road. We made this. Thanks for watching.